uh, a couple years ago and he had gone online and counted all the songs I'd ever written. And it was 383 at that point. And that was 20 songs ago. No, it was 30 songs ago. So it's like, it's over 400. And I'm, I'm not bragging, I'm just, I, I'm saying, i am said that so I can say this. Of all those songs, this is my favorite one. And you shouldn't probably say what's your favorite one. It's like saying which is your favorite child, you know, <laughs> which you're really not supposed to say, although you have one. <laughs> I'm just teasing up here. They're all my, they're all, you know that they're all your favorite. But uh, this is my favorite one. It's my favorite for two reasons. First of all, I, I wrote it along with a person whom I consider to be the greatest musician I've ever met, a guy named Vance Taylor. It's a name you probably don't know. But Vance is, uh, he, he tours with the Four Tops right now, and he was with uh, Earth, Wind, and Fire for about three years. Any song, any key, any style without thinking. I and mean, that's, that's, that's uh, Vance. But at the same time, the most humble and Christ-like guy I've ever known. Just an amazing musician. So I think about him every time I play this song and how, how much I, how grateful I am that he's my friend. But more, more importantly even than that is this song does what I always wanted the song to do. And that is to take a passage of scripture and really engage with it. The passage is uh, Psalm 51. Uh, it's, it's the psalm we all know, right? It's the, the heading. We all know Psalm 51. That's the psalm that David wrote after the, the, the disaster uh, with Bathsheba. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that he wrote that psalm, uh, that psalm as their child was dying as a result of their adultery. They, she had a little boy. And when that, the child was born, uh, they could tell he was sick and it wasn't going to wasn't going to make it. He didn't, he didn't even live long enough to be named, which is really, really sad. Uh, my mother lost a little boy before I was born, and uh, in the confusion, they never named him. And uh, my mother was always so, she grieved her whole life about that. And I think David, you know, this nameless child who has died as a result of his sin, um, and that's Psalm 51. And so deep is his grief that, that he it forces him to a, a, a realization that changed everything for the worship life of Israel because David's the worship leader, right, of his, of his nation. And it's, it's when David realized that all he had left was all God ever wanted in the first place, a broken spirit, a contrite heart. That's all he's got. And he realizes, oh, it's not the blood of bulls and goats you want. It's a broken spirit, a contrite heart. And in, in, in that, David sort of takes the lead, and, and Jeremiah makes this realization later on, and Habakkuk and other, others make this realization, that, uh, and we see it on the cross. I mean, what is Jesus doing on the cross? He's lifting up his sorrow and his pain and his confusion as an act of worship. At the, at the moment when he's most being used by God, what is he doing? He's lamenting, which I think is a, it's an elegant idea that perhaps in your life and in my life, that moment when we're most, most being used is that moment when we're, by grace, we're hanging on by our fingernails. That sounds crazy. It doesn't sound very American. But I really do think that's, uh, uh, anyway, that's what the song is about. And I'll teach it to you. Your heart is cold 
shattered Sad. 